Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Over time, the possibilities of a summer cottage are exhausted. More useful exploited space and space for storing materials and tools are required. From the review from rmnt.ru, you'll learn about ways to make an add-on with an attic and a semi-open terrace. Most modular cabins are installed with little or no preparation. All work on the base can consist of uprooting stumps and removing shrubs, leveling the ground and arranging several support legs made of brick or cinder block. For a lonely suburban trailer, this approach is quite acceptable. But the presence of a superstructure obliges you to take care of a more solid foundation that will not allow individual parts of the structure to part. First of all, you need to make sure that the change house is installed exactly at the level and all possible processes of soil shrinkage under the supports are completed. First, align the trailer along the back wall where three to four retaining posts are usually located. If they crumble from erosion or can sag in the future, repairs should be carried out by strengthening the supports and replacing, if necessary, part of the soil under them. There should be more supports on the side of the change house door than under the rear wall. It's better to install them in increments of no more than 120 to 150 centimeters. While the change house should rest only on half of the pillar so that the first leg of the terrace can be laid in the remaining free space. Depending on the level at which the change house door is located, the same support can be two level so that later the attached platform is at the correct level relative to the floor and the entrance sill. The load bearing base of the superstructure is a frame made of rolled metal or lumber. The first is preferable because the required cross section of steel elements is less than in the case of using wood. However, in suburban conditions, there's not always everything necessary for welding metal structures. At the same time, wood will cost a little less, although you'll need to work hard to make the connections correctly. The main points of support of the superstructure are located along two lines. The first runs close to the front wall of the trailer. The second parallel to the first with an indentation necessary to form a sufficiently spacious terrace. This offset can be chosen arbitrarily, but as a rule, with a length of more than four and a half to five meters, it will be necessary to use truss structures so that the roof is sufficiently rigid. It will be most reasonable to make the terrace the same width as the trailer itself. The most loaded elements are the racks located on the first line because they account for the main emphasis. The end posts in the roof of the trailer play an auxiliary role, taking on the eccentricity of the loads from the asymmetrical configuration of the roof. Accordingly, the supports located close to the wall of the change house should be more powerful or installed with a more frequent step. The attachment of the superstructure to the wagon is not intended to transfer the main loads, but it's necessary to exclude possible shifts and reliably fix the parts during their assembly. It's necessary to determine in advance where the frame elements are located under the skin and select the appropriate type of fasteners. Assembling the frame. The basis for the frame is a frame made of timber with a side of at least 100 millimeters. A grillage is assembled from it along the perimeter of the future terrace, a half body is cut in the corners. The same method of joining is used when installing jumpers. Their number is determined by the material and the cross section of the floor log which with a load of 70 to 80 kilograms concentrated in the center of the span should bend no more than 10 to 15 millimeters. To keep the grillage confidently, it's recommended to knock off the railing point with a steel strip. At the intersection of the grillage, frame racks are installed. For the first line, these are all the same, 100 by 100 millimeters or more. For the outer row, you can use a lower section, for example, 100 by 50 millimeters placing the board with its edge against the wall of the trailer. A crossbar is installed on top of the racks. The crossbars located across the shed must cover it over the entire width of the roof. The planks should be installed directly above the structural members, which are usually located directly below the corner claddings. The section and type of railing of the upper strapping are the same as that of the grillage. There are few nuances when assembling the frame. First, there must be a support under each post for example, a brick post. Secondly, one should abandon hardened self-tapping screws in favor of anodized ones or use ordinary nails. Thirdly, the lumber for the frame must be dry without traces of twisting or warping 
because these elements set the geometry and it will be quite difficult to correct the flaws later. Making Rafters Although the process of making rafters for a gable roof itself is quite simple, their installation without outside help is extremely difficult and almost impossible if there is no support under your feet. Therefore, first of all, you need to assemble the floor frame for which you will need to install additional beams, which are better placed across the struts connecting the racks, that is, along the trailer. For the correct installation of the beams, it is enough to throw on the harness from above, performing the usual type of undercut at the intersections. By the way, at the same way you can immediately strengthen the floor structure, the step of the beams in the upper and lower parts is the same, about 80 to 100 centimeters. To complete the assembly of the floor, it is enough to cut out jumpers of equal length from 100 to 50 millimeter bar and set their spacing between the beams. After that, you can build a temporary floor from boards or sheet materials, laid without fastening. On this basis, you can safely move massive rafters and work safely. In much the same way, by placing the boards on the template, the remaining rafters are trimmed and assembled. The main jumpers on them should not be installed yet. It is enough to fasten the legs with a board on a pair of self-tapping screws. If the quality of the building materials used is high enough, you can trim the left and right legs separately by moving the desired angle by marking using a bevel. Raising the legs and assembling them on the roof is easier to perform. With proper skill, you can even do it yourself. The assembly begins with the installation of the extreme rafters between which the lacing is pulled along the top and overhangs. If you need to change the height, it is enough to slightly reduce or spread the legs, temporarily fastening them to the edge of the floor with self-tapping screws. The main fastening of the rafter system is reduced to installing two crossbars on the inside, running along the entire roof and fixing the main rafters above the crossbars. Fastening the legs to the ceiling can be done with a hem, reinforcement with steel corners or wooden kerchiefs in cases where the step of installing the floor beams and rafters is the same. Everything that remains after the assembly of the superstructure and the roof support system can be attributed to cosmetic work, depending upon whether the superstructure will have a thermal protection belt in common with the change house. The composition of the roofing cake should be chosen correctly. For an unheated superstructure, it is recommended to lay a hydro barrier, tamping counter battens, transversing lathing and the simplest roof covering. For example, a profiled sheet in the color of the trailer's skin. For a warm roof, you need to lay in a spacer between the rafters of the insulation and a vapor barrier device on the inside. It is easiest to cover the floor of the terrace with an ordinary edged board. You can use a special terrace. To create a fence, it is enough to nail bars of 50 by 50 millimeters between the posts, but no one has the right to prohibit you from installing chiseled and milled handrails with ballisters. The quality and high cost of materials are generally determined by the capital of the building and its purpose. The superstructure structure is a standard wooden frame, which means that almost all methods used in frame housing are suitable for insulation, glazing, and decoration. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.